tortoise actually climbed up the stairs. <laughs> I thought she was eating the rug. Oh my god, she's actually eating the rug. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Hope we're all doing well. So today's video was a little bit unusual and I wouldn't think I've ever done this, but it was um, requested by a few of my friends if um, I could do uh, a wee sit down chatty video kind of Q and A about my tortoise, which I showed you in my last video. If you just want to watch that, I've got a tortoise. Her name is Tenji, and I'm going to show you right now. This is Tenji. She's got blooming letters on her. This is Tenji. Um, she's a spurthy tortoise. She's a girl. Um, see, I'm just gonna put her down now. Tenji is a tortoise and not a turtle. A lot of people get confused. Well, tortoises live on land, and turtles live in water. This Tenji does not have a tank or lives in a pond or anything outside she is a tortoise so when we first got tenji we actually thought um she was a boy but we later discovered that she actually is a girl um which is kind of okay because i think the name tenji kind of accommodates both genders there's hundreds of different types of species of tortoises my tortoise is a spur dyed tortoise like i said that means she's got little triangle spikes um at the backs of her legs so tenji's shell is actually changed colour over time so when we first got her she was more yellow and light and now she's more darker and green so the first five years of Tenji's life is when she grew the most so I don't actually think she'll grow any noticeably bigger she might grow a wee bit but that'll be her size which is actually a decent size because she's not too big she's not too small which is good because then she can't fit under a lot of things and obviously when Tenji was first brought home she was really really small um, I've got a few photos, they're kind of bad though, you can't really see the size of her, but I'll compare, so I've got her beside a dish, obviously you're seeing it now, and I'll put a new photo of her beside that same dish and you'll see the growth. Kenji can walk pretty fast, so um, we can actually walk up to 2 miles per hour, and that doesn't sound like a lot, but for our wee tiny tortoise, I feel like it's quite fast. So when Tenji's in really active hyper moods she can walk so fast like see when she's in the garden you're literally like where is she went now like she's so hard to keep track of just wanders everywhere just anywhere she sees she'll walk to it in every part of the garden she's done laps even in the house she's done laps of the house because we've got laminate we can hear her wee claws and it's it's cute but sometimes you're just trying to watch something and you're like tendy shut the hell up <laughs> tortoises don't actually have teeth they have like a sharp jaw and they've got sharp claws that they can like get any food at. The food she likes is actually like iceberg lettuce, rocket lettuce, she likes peas as well. She likes broccoli as well but we don't really tend to give her that. Um, she likes cucumber obviously. She loves flowers so in the garden she'll eat like the dandelions, the buttercups. She loves like the actual grass. Her tongue is my favourite bit about Tenji is adorable like it is so cute. See when she eats it sticks out and oh I love it so much. So they are pretty smart, um, but you wouldn't actually think, wouldn't you not? But they have good memory, so Tenji knows the layout of the house, she knows the layout of the garden, um, she also has a good sense of smell. It's good because then she can recognise us and she can show us attention, which is fun. Obviously we can't cuddle her. We once actually tried to see if she can swim. Like a paddling pool outside and my sister put her in just like a wee dip and she ended up getting the cold, which is actually called runny nose syndrome and she had to be put on antibiotics, she had to go to the vets for it. Um, she started blowing bubbles with her nose which is kind of unusual but it happened um, due to us but we've not ever done it since and yeah it's basically just a tortoise cold like the flu. Um, so yeah she's fine now, she's never been to the vet since, we've not had a problem with her. There are some times I get a little bit panicky if she's maybe acting a little bit different than normal so like if she blinks a lot or like I don't know, eats a funny way, I get like freaked out and I'm like, oh my god, she's choking or she's got something wrong with her, but everything kind of works out. But the story behind Tenji was actually because I've always wanted a dog and because dogs are so much hard work and you need to be in the house a lot and walk them a lot. My mum and dad were like, no, 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 we can't do that. It's not fair on the dog, whatever. Fair enough. Dad's idea was to get a tortoise instead because he used to have tortoises when he was little. He had two of them actually. I can't remember the names of them. Did they come with a tea though? I think it was like Timmy and something else. I don't know. He obviously knew how to look after them. So we ended up getting one of them. And I said that I wanted to call my dog Benji. And obviously because I was getting a tortoise. I was obviously thinking of the idea of getting a tortoise and calling it Benji. And my dad was like, no, no, it needs to begin with a T. Why don't you call it Tenji? But he was kidding on. And because I was like, you know what? 
we'll go with it. So Tenji's name is Tenji because of that. Um, it's spelled T-E-N-G-I. This is actually near October. We knew that she was hatched around October, so we just picked a random day and we were like, that's her birthday and we'll celebrate it then. I think it's the 26th. I might be wrong, I don't know. Like I said, Tenji loves food. She's such a wee grubber. I had so many encounters of her eating like our leftovers a few weeks ago my sister put her plate on the ground well Tenji walked over on the plate and ate the crust off her plate and ended up eating the plate but she couldn't have obviously but she tried to and it's just so random she's such a wee gubber but whatever we love her anyway Tenji was actually in the local newspaper the wee pet article like show your pet off or whatever Tenji eating a prom cracker which is really random but she liked it um, she loves outside she loves the sun obviously and she loves exploring, she loves digging and burying and eating like the veggies which she has escaped from twice and this is really recently as well. She ended up going literally through the hedge and in my neighbour's garden and he was like, there's a turtles in my garden and we are like, oh, okay, sorry. Luckily she didn't go any further and you know, it's a good thing he was in the garden because uh, that would have been bad. <laughs> so Tenji has a cage but it's upstairs right now because she doesn't actually go on it. She just walks about the house like I would. Obviously she needs our heat lamp. We don't actually put her under it that much because whenever it's a nice day we stick it outside. I don't like going in it at all. Like if we were to actually just keep her in it she would scratch and climb up to get out. So that's how I kind of ended up just leaving her downstairs. So she likes her wee hidey hole. She's got a few that she tends to go to. So right now she's underneath the radiator. Um, in the hallway she likes behind the couch in the living room because that's got a radiator right behind it. There's a few wee corners in the kitchen she likes. She also knows where the back door is and she knows that's how she gets out so she always tries to climb on the back door and um, we've got a few steps leading down to our garden so whenever the door is open she tries to like lean over and get out but she she knows it's a stupid idea so she's never actually climbed out because she would fall and fall quite a bit uh, for her size anyway. It's a bathroom as well. Uh, she does like to climb a lot of things like I said. Up in our bin bags. Um, don't actually know if I'll have a photo of that but it was so funny. She's climbed up the step once. It was because there was a bag right beside the first step and she climbed into the bag up the bag which is smart. Whenever like I had just got a parcel the other day so I just left the box out and she climbed into it. It was quite funny because her wee head popped out it. It was really cute as well. Obviously we need to be careful where she is um, in case we like walk into her, kick her or whatever which we have obviously done before because sometimes you forget. Remember the first time I kicked Tenji? I was so upset and I was crying my eyes out but she didn't even get hurt because she just bit in her shell like any danger she goes in the shell what she never really does like only when she's in like a deep sleep you'll see her go in but even at that she doesn't really do it we need to be wary where she is we tend to always look for her like or always say oh where's Tenji from like you know days out and we're like right find Tenji um make sure she's okay obviously because she has wandered around the house so Tenji can actually feel her shell because her shell is literally a part of her body, just like our skin. Like all my life, I will literally be telling people, Tenji is a turtle, is not a turtle. People just can't really grasp that. Same with my name though, people think it's EA and it's IE. It's just a thing we gotta do, you know what I mean? <laughs> video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and if you wanna see more content with Tenji or about Tenji, please subscribe, thumbs up, uh, do all that YouTube fun stuff, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye guys. Put my sauce in the fridge now. There's some peas in there.